In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can enrich your google.com search results by injecting JSON-LD markup onto your pages. And we do all this with the help of Google Tag Manager. All and more coming up, so let's dive in. Hi there, and welcome to another video of measureschool.com, where we teach you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian, and today we wanna to talk about JSON LD. And today we wanna to tackle the question, how we can communicate to the Google bot that there is meta information available on our page that can be used for enhancing our search engine results within google.com. And you might have seen these rich snippets in other forms before. So Google has been implementing new forms of search engine results over the past few years. And they come in many different forms. But how do we actually tell the Google bot that there is this information available? And then hopefully this information will be incorporated into our results. Well, if you have dabbled in SEO before, then your job is to enhance the results and the markup of the page. So you have probably built in recommended tags into your HTML directly in order to communicate this information to the Google bot. But a little while ago, Google actually announced that they will start accepting a new kind of data that doesn't have to necessarily be implemented in the HTML, but can be deployed through JavaScript. And this new format is called JSON-LD. And if you want to find out more about JSON-LD, there's a great video, which I'm going to link up below. The official documentation about these microformats can be found at schema.org. And Google also has a resource section about this new markup. The key here being that JSON-LD can be deployed via JavaScript. And therefore, Google Tag Manager can be used to deploy and communicate this information to the Googlebot. Additionally, to these resources, Google has brought out a new testing tool, which is the structured data testing tool, where you can implement any kind of website and see how it is marked up and what kind of microdata is available here and if it is correct. So let's see how we could implement such additional information like the rating here into our page through Google Tag Manager. So it hopefully will be picked up by the Google bot and incorporated into our results. There's never a guarantee for this happening, but we can make this data available and hope for the best. So let's see how we could do this. First of all, we would need to have a template or the right markup. Google gives us structured data types that are available. So they are not only for reviews, but also special data types for articles, music, receipts, videos, and more. Now we are actually not in the creative works here. We are under the e-commerce section because this is an e-commerce site. Let's go here to products and look at the results that we want to mark up. We have here an example for JSON LD. This will open up our structured data testing tool and we can see which information ideally would be implemented in such a JSON-LD object. So we have here the product name, the image, the description, the brand, and here the important part of our aggregate rating, rating value, rating count. And if you want, we can also incorporate offers. Now on our demo shop here, we don't have an offer at the moment and we don't have all the information available. So let's cut this down a little bit and we can do this really easily in this editor. And every time we make a change, we can validate it and see if there are any errors or warnings where we removed any kind of information that we shouldn't have removed for it to work correctly. I'll also take out this brand information and the product ID, the description, the image. All we really need is the name and the aggregate rating. Let's try to check that again. So we have an product name and the rating. So that should do it. Let's copy this and put it into our Google Tag Manager account. We click on the new tag. This will be a custom HTML tag. 
and we simply input our text here. Let's mark this up correctly. This is a JSON LD markup tag for the product pages. We continue here and we build a trigger which only fires on product pages, which we can define by the URL. So if there's product in the title, this should work. And we create our tag, go into the preview and debug mode and go back to our page and reload this as well. And our JSON LD for product pages was deployed correctly. Now, unfortunately, we won't be able to test this with our structured data testing tool because this only works for open websites. And right now, this website is still in preview and debug mode. So the tag actually hasn't been deployed yet. We can change this by publishing a version. Now let's try this in our testing tool. Now, fortunately, we can see here that there is already some markup in the page. Our shop system WooCommerce does this pretty well. The information that we have inputted here is in the second tab and we see the name has been transferred, the type and our rating value and review count. Now, obviously this wouldn't make much sense to deploy on every product page because every product page is different. We have a different name, we have different reviews and we have different kind of ratings. But with Google Tag Manager, we can actually deploy this dynamically with the help of variables. So how would we do this? Let's go back in our JSON LD object here and look at the things that we want to replace dynamically. So first of all, we would have here the name that should be changed dynamically based on the name in an e-commerce store. And we have covered a lot of ways on how to do this in previous videos. The safest way and the intended way of Google Tag Manager and doing things is the actual data layer. So I've implemented a data layer here. We can look into the data layer in our messages and see what data we have available already in the data layer and use that for our tags. So for example, here in this data layer, we already have the name available and other information about this product. Now all we need to do is build a data layer variable and pull out the name of this product. I already went ahead and did this. So on the variables, I've built a data layer variable for the product name where I dig into the e-commerce object, detail product name, the first name that comes up and then pull that into this variable. Now on other products that have reviews, I have installed additional information and push this to the data layer, such as the review information. So we can again check what is in the data layer for this product and we see there's an event called product view and the score and the reviews are submitted as well. So that's the information that I put into additional variables to pull out from the data layer. Now we can use these data layer variables, number of reviews, product name, review score, to dynamically replace these values in our JSON LD tag. So let's try this out. Let's go over to tags. And instead of the product name, we'll implement our variable and we can do this with curly brackets and putting in the variable name. Same would be the case with our rating value here. And our review count. Notice that these should model whatever you have named your variables in Google Tag Manager. So that should do it. We can now go ahead and we save this tag, let's refresh here and refresh our page. And we now see our JSON LD being deployed on this website. And once we click into it, we can see how our 
custom HTML tag got filled. We have now the name, Happy Ninja. We have the rating value and the number of ratings right here. So this is now dynamic. So if you go to another website or another product, let's choose this one. We see our JSON LD product and we see it was filled out with different information here. This is now dynamically filled through the data layer and our data layer variables. So again, we could go ahead and publish this and test it out with our structured data testing tool right here. Run a test and we see we have a new product here which now has a different name and our rating value and review count was ported over. So this was a quick example on how you can implement metadata to your pages with the help of Google Tag Manager. Now there's obviously much more to it than just our short example here. There are many more JSON-LD examples for reviews, for receipts, for music, for articles to mark up your pages if that is applicable to your case. Now, if you're interested in building this into your website with the help of Google Tag Manager, we have a little template for you, which you can use under measureschool.com slash JSON-LD, where you find a container that you can upload to your Google Tag Manager account which will give you all the different templates that you might want to use for deployment of JSON-LD on your website. So check it out at measureschool.com slash JSON-LD. And that's already it with this week's video of measureschool.com. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget that you can get our JSON-LD templates at measureschool.com slash JSON-LD. My name is Julian, till next time.